everyone. Today we're making creamy pesto chicken thighs in the Instant Pot. Very delicious and creamy. We can serve this over zoodles, pasta, cauliflower rice, regular rice, whatever you want. Super delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after our chef joke. All right, we're going to start off with our first chef joke and the second one will be just a little bit later. What do you call a bird that's afraid to fly? Chicken. All right, so let's start by going over our ingredients so you can see what goes in this recipe. First up, we have our chicken. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs here, but you can use chicken breast if you like. We're gonna need some fat here. So I'm using some organic coconut milk that is full fat. And I love this brand here because the ingredients are so clean. Check this out, look at this. Organic coconut milk and water. We'll need some chicken broth over here, and then I have some diced up tomatoes. You could use cherry tomatoes cut in half if you like. Diced onion, some minced garlic. Over here we have some pesto sauce that is actually frozen, but you can use any pesto sauce you like. Here's the one that, that this is that I'm using. Not the cleanest ingredients. I'll show you here real quick. Where is it at? Uh, okay, so the second ingredient right there is canola oil. Not the best oil to be using. It really should be olive oil, would be the best. Anyway, that's what I'm using today. We have some arrowroot here. This is my thickener. We're gonna spice it up a little bit with uh, some homemade Italian seasoning. This is my own blend. If you'd like to know how to make that, I have a video for you. I'll leave a link in the description. Or you can use store-bought. Here I've got some uh, crushed red pepper flakes and I'm gonna add a little bit of that for just a touch of heat, not too much. It's optional too, by the way. Salt, some pepper over there, and we'll need some olive oil. So to start, we're gonna season our chicken. So I'm gonna take some salt, sprinkle it on each piece. We're gonna pepper that up. And I'm also, I didn't show you in the beginning, but I'm gonna add some garlic powder to this just cause I really like the garlic powder on the chicken. So we'll put a little splash on there. I'm going to flip these over and do the other side. So who knows what the button is on the back side of my arm there? Let me know down in the comments. Now we're going to take the Instant Pot and we're going to turn it on to saute. Once that gets hot, we're going to brown the chicken thighs. The Instant Pot is hot. I'm going to add some olive oil to the bottom of the pan. We're going to brown the thighs uh, in batches. After about a minute or so, I'm going to flip these over. We don't want to cook them through. We just want to brown them a little bit. So we're cooking these only a minute or two on each side. Take them out and place them on a clean plate and then we'll cook our second batch. Once all the chicken is done, take it out and set it aside. And now we'll add some olive oil to the pot and the onion and we'll saute the onion for about three minutes or until it gets nice and soft. Now it's time to add the garlic for just a minute. Work that in. Okay, and I'm gonna add the chicken broth to this and work on scraping up the bottom. That deglazes the pan and gets all that goodness up. All right, now that we've deglazed the pan, in go the tomatoes. I'm still on saute, by the way. We'll add the pesto sauce. Next goes some Italian seasoning. A few red pepper flakes, depending on how much heat you like. I don't like too much, just a hint of it for me. Now I'm gonna add the coconut milk. Now we're not gonna add the arrowroot yet because that can't cook real long at high heat. It's gonna go in at the end. Arrowroot needs to be added at the end because it loses its thickening properties if it's boiling too long. Now I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to this. And we're gonna put the chicken back in. I'm gonna use the rack. And we're gonna just place the chicken right on top. I'm gonna turn off the Instant Pot because it's on saute right now. Okay, now we're gonna place the lid on it. 
and seal it up. Now I'm gonna pressure cook for 10 minutes. All right, while our chicken is cooking, we have time for chef joke number two. Here we go. How does a chicken send mail to her friend? In a hen blope. While the chicken's cooking, I'm going to whip up some zoodles, which is really easy to do with my little zoodle maker here. Trim off both ends of the zucchini and then attach it to the zoodle maker. If you want to get one of these, I'll leave a link in the description for you. You'll notice that my machine slides a little bit here, but you know, you can work with that. Now I like to trim my zoodles just a little bit because sometimes they're really long and this just makes it easier to eat. So I'm going to place the zoodles in a large pan over medium high heat with some olive oil and we're going to cook these up for just maybe four or five minutes. After about four or five minutes, these soften up, add a little bit of salt, maybe some garlic powder if you like, and they're ready to go. All right, so the chicken's done. We'll release the pressure and remove the chicken from the pan so then we can then thicken up our sauce. And next you want to remove the rack as well. Now add an equal amount of chicken broth to the arrowroot and stir it to combine. Set the instant pot to simmer for about four minutes and then add the arrowroot mixture to the sauce. You only have to cook this for about one minute or until it thickens up. I like to give the sauce a taste at this point and see if I need to add any additional salt. Let's add the chicken back to the sauce now to get it nice and hot and we're ready to serve this up. All right, here we go. Serve it up. Zoodles and some delicious. Use a ladle here, works good. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. I can't wait to dig in. The meat is just falling apart. Now I will say, you could go eight minutes. I think I cooked it a little long. No bad thing here. You know, one, one good thing about thighs is they are very forgiving and they don't dry out. So let's do it. Mm. So good. Mm. Delicious recipe. The pesto sauce, it is flavorful. The meat is tender and juicy. Give this a go. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash the like button for me. That really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I, I put new videos out every week. And let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, we'll see you next time. If you want to see another recipe with pesto, you've got to try my roasted veggies with pesto sauce. These are absolutely amazing.